the credit union help the whole people. You know, no matter Hispanic, no matter English, they help the people. So the fact that you know you're not alone, the fact that you there's people like Sister Ann, that Nilka, that really, really care about you and care about your problems, and they get involved with your family. Uh, all of that has a huge impact. Many people might not understand what the credit union means for people living in Central Florida, but I have lived um, all the good that the, the, uh, the bank has done for the community. I have lived it and, and they've helped me. So our work is really to embrace and to bring people in, say so you belong here, you belong in this country, you belong to each other, and we will protect each other, and we're going to make life <laughs> So in, uh, in 1971, the Catholic Bishop of Orlando it was a newly formed diocese and uh, he wanted uh, the Catholic Church to reach out to the seasonal and migratory agricultural workers, the farm workers that uh, came into the state of Florida to harvest the crops. And so uh, four of us sisters of Notre Dame, then a Muir, um, fairly newly minted nuns, we were in our 20s, um, responded to that call to come to Central Florida and see uh, how we could serve the migrant and seasonal farm worker uh, community. Uh, when we began our work, we had a couple of wisdom things, which were uh, we needed to hear from the people what the people needed and wanted. So as we began to get to know people in the community and get to see what the reality was, we began to work together with the local community to develop projects. We helped found the West Orange Farm Worker Health Association, Homes and Partnership, the Justice and Peace Office, the Farm Worker Association, and the Office for Farm Worker Ministry. We also began to realize that all of those projects were great, but they depended on outside funding. And then we saw that there was really a need for people to have a safe place to keep their money and good advice because they were being taken advantage of by predatory lenders and or had no institution that they trusted and kept their cash you know under the mattress and you know and at home i buy the i buy the place in in 2001 i grow the um, uh, different plant um, papaya sugarcane cassava i got a i got a that place for for 90 90 thousand dollars I have a problem with my credit to uh, uh, qualify for, the, for my credit. They put a balloon payment and I'm paying nine years uh, and, and pay and pay and pay. Uh, in that time, I have, a, I have a trouble, maybe lost the property because I don't have the money to, to pay the whole, the whole balloon payment. I talked to credit union and they helped me to pay the balloon payment, pay, pay the mobile home, double white and that's a feel better for me. Community Trust Federal Credit Union started, you know, in the back pocket of each one of us that, uh, that were part of the founding members. We carried bank bags. And then we used each of the nonprofits that were part of the founding or organizations that brought the, the credit union to life. And actually, the business of the credit union was to, in, to empower and enrich the members, not just outside you know, investors or projects that had nothing to do with the local community. And wow, what a radical idea. Well, the credit union, um, it gave me a sense of support, a sense that like, I could do this. Um, I was looking around for a car at the time, and at the time, I was 18 years old. So um, most of the people didn't want to let me borrow money and things because I basically had no credit. But having a car has meant uh, for me and my family through the credit union was that um, I was able to drive him around and we were able to have like a sense of independence. Also that has a big psychological impact. So since that's that we're able to enjoy our time more, not worry about anything, and it sounds simple. It's, it's a great big deal. When I started um, in 2003, the membership that we have, they work in construction, they work picking vegetables and fruit, and also in nurseries. Here in Apopka, uh, everybody is like a family, and they are very loyal one to other, and everybody help all the organization that is part of the field of membership of the credit union. 
is giving, uh, giving us the opportunity to, to know and to be in touch with the community all the time. And I think this is very important. So we, we know the majority of the membership in, in Apopka. And I think just knowing your member and knowing what they really need is, is fantastic and is the best way just to continue helping the people. The best way I could um, describe what self-help did for me is to say that self-help put um, the need of the community first. And I was also in the process of losing my home. We were only Everything we were paying were going to interest. Nothing was going toward the house. And that's what self-help did for me. They went out, they looked for different programs where if we put more money down, we'll be able to, to, be, to live in a house again. So we did not want our credit union to be eaten up um, by another financial institution that did not have as its primary mission serving the needs of low-income people of color. So we saw that, that self-help credit union had the same mission and the same passion and the same goal as we have. And if we could be a part of self-help, that would give us some stability and some breathing room and some capital to be able to do the things you know, that we've always wanted to do, which are the same things that self-help was already you know, doing. And now you know, we're building a, a branch. It actually looks like a financial institution with a drive-through. <laughs> drive Imagine that. We've grown a lot in these last uh, 50 years. <laughs> self-help is a great family. So I'm very, very happy to be part of this big family. Actually, I actually think the credit union is a holy, sacred trust. <laughs> and um, that's why I love it.